local parks, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. And as you know, 10 days after Halloween, it's automatically Christmas. So we're here for Busch Gardens Christmas Town for the very first time ever. We are so excited that we brought cousin Bridget along in tow. She hasn't been to Busch Gardens, Williamsburg at all in like 10 years, 20 years? 20, maybe. Long time? Long time. Everything is new and fresh and interesting. So we're super excited to try out everything, see everything. The lights are coming up very, very soon. We're so excited to be here and we're taking you along for the ride. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. That's Bridget. And we do things like this. The last time we came through here, this hollow was full of spiders and now it is full of Christmas. Look at this blue. Shh, quiet Josh Groban. You are severely copyrighted. Oh, this place is going to be beautiful when the sun goes down. So there are six shows total, three of which that are new to the park, but all six are new to us because we've never been here before. Well, we've been here before, just not okay, for Christmas. We've never been here for Christmas. <laughs> this, in addition to several rides getting holiday overlays, the railroad has a holiday overlay, which is very, very popular. We are so excited to show you each and every holiday item that's available this Christmas. There is one show that is not currently running, and that is Twas the Night on Ice. As the name might imply, it is an ice show, and unfortunately, it's a little bit too warm right now for the ice to remain consistent enough for people to actually skate on it. So, no ice show. Tonight. Towards the back of France, you have this sleigh photo op. It is an add-on. It is not included in your photo key plan, but there is no obligation to buy. You can take a nice picture whether you pay for it or not. And then if you want it, I believe it is $30 for the first one and then up to $75 for a pack. It's up to you to decide what Christmas memories are worth. Now this is new and very much welcome at Bush Gardens. In lieu of staffing shortages and some of the larger restaurant options on property being closed, Bush Gardens has taken to hiring food trucks to fill out the empty space. Full disclosure, we've actually been here for a few hours already and already tried two food trucks earlier today. It was delicious. Honestly, really good addition to the park while, you know, staffing shortages are closing down some food booths. So we're really happy with that change. So thank you, Bush Gardens, for the extra food. Good looking out. Also, I don't think it's necessarily cold enough tonight to justify our sitting in one of these tents, but they do have heated seating areas where you can gather and have a nice hot drink. Stay warm. We got ourselves full blown darkness out here now. The lights are bright. The lights are coming up. Woo! Look at that. So super cute that Santa's workshop has taken over the Curse of Dark Castle facade. Super uncute that there's a 45 minute wait for it. Ah, I've seen Santa before. And the halls have been fully decked at Father Time's Clocks and Gifts over in Germany. It has been transformed into the Christmas shop with two P's and an E. We've got our priceless crystal ornaments, our 2021 lineup of Jim Shore Santa figurines, and you too can have your very own nine foot nutcracker for the low, low price of $6,800. Act fast, these savings won't last. Oh, there's no place like Gnome for the holidays. All right, time to leave before they make me leave. How is it possible that the sun just went down and we're already starting to run out of time? I, I don't know how this happens every single time. I don't know how we start with like hours and hours of time to kill and then we wind up with, I, I swear, we, like five minutes ago, we had five hours left of this event. It's because I wasted all that time on my daggone gnome plan. It's four hours, but there's no more shows after nine. Yeah, after certain eight. things are, they have cutoffs. Is this not broken to you guys?
Holy expletive, that was good. Very good. I haven't seen anything like that in a bush garden. Super that impressed. was fantastic. We weren't allowed to record the performance, unfortunately. No. That's a rare thing for bush gardens and Sea World alike not being able to film, but in this case, I get it. There's a I lot of precision movement yeah, going I, on. Any distraction there could might be, be like life lightning cubes or something. I don't know. Wow. Celtic fire. I don't want to make promises I can't keep, but we could have something special in store for you guys here in just a second, so hang tight. All right, guys, I will be quick about this because we don't want to waste anyone's time here, especially the talent. But, but we are here with Ingrid, who is a performer in Celtic fire. You were incredible. Thank you. You're amazing. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the bar king. It's a big Irish dance step show. She was passing Guinness around to everyone. Yeah, I was. It was out. Standing. I've never seen anything like this in a theme park. Truly, like I've been to see, like we've been to Sea World, yeah. we've been to this park before, but we've never yeah, done something higher like here. High quality theme that park. That was incredible. I'm sure our marketing team would like me to tell you that we've been voted like best theme park show a couple years. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Name drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's you fun. said earlier too was interesting. Like you actually they were required to be like what was it nationally ranked? Or yeah, nationally? all the Irish step dancers are required to place in nationals in order to be in the show. So they're like. woven yeah. in there somewhere, but I was so immersed by the dancing, I was blown away. I, I couldn't like keep it straight. It was, no, delightful. it was incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much for putting on a great performance. Oh, and like consistently, this happens like every hour and a half. Yeah. So yeah. yes, they get right back on the next show soon. Yeah. But thank you so much. It was yeah, amazing. Was incredible. Yeah. And thank you, Bridget, who's suspiciously hiding over here for connecting us. <laughs> Alright guys, our next show as the evening gets into the darker hours is Scrooge No More over here at the Globe Theater in the England area. I doubt we're gonna be able to film for this show just because of the nature of the environment and the fact that we weren't able to film during the Celtic Fire show. Assuming it'll be great. I was correct in my assumption that we were not going to be able to film during the show. The reason being there were strobes, there was fog, there was a lot of distracting elements already. Actors on stage can get a little bit more distracted if you're shooting cameras off in the middle, so it makes sense. However, I wish we could have been able to film that performance as well because I thought it was really, really good. High production um, value. Yeah, really high production value on the whole at Bush Gardens, but I think that this show and the Celtic Fire show are above and beyond. Yeah. There, there are two shows yet that we haven't seen still, so we could continue to see better and better shows. Do I think this show is better than Celtic Fire? No. I think that the story they told was a, a very well done, collapsed version of The Christmas Carol. There was a lot of projection mapping. There were great props and sets. Yep. Fezziwig stole the show. Fezziwig was... Fezziwig's actor. If you're out there, if you're watching, fantastic. Yeah. So, great show all around. Really glad we made time for it. Uh, it was, once again, Zoe from Wishing Mouse that recommended we make time for this show. If we missed anything, it was not to be this show. Yes. So, I'm glad we made time for it. Oh. My. God. Look at Pompeii. Tens of thousands of millions of lights laid out across the entire track of the ride and everything in between. Look at this. Is this not the magic of Christmas? It's the magical water slide of Christmas. <laughs> it's the most magical Christmas of Christmas town. The music just adds a whole other dimension of awesomeness to this area. I could live here. I could literally sit down, put a blanket on, and just enjoy this for the next six to eight hours. That would be fine. That would be my life. This is perfect. This is all I need. from Unto Us, the show that takes place in Italy, one of many shows that 
really we didn't give enough attention to. Everyone here is so talented. Every single performance that's going on this season and every season is phenomenal, just incredible. And it's so amazing to me that all these people are clustered here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, of all places in the middle of nowhere, Virginia. This is just such a cool park. They're so good at what they do. Fortunately, for arguably the most popular Christmas overlay in the entire park, we had the forethought to buy Quick Q. Woo! Quick Q saving our bacon. Well, that was probably worth the purchase. Yep. That was probably like a two hour line. Yeah, Quick Q oh definitely God. made a dent here. For the Christmas Town event, Quick Q doesn't work quite the same way in that you can't use Quick Q on most of the rides and attractions that are open here. I don't know whether it's because they just aren't anticipating too many long waits in those lines or because they're anticipating needing to staff the quick queues for these Christmas overlays more so than the actual standard ride. So you can only buy quick queue for one time use here on the Christmas train and for the individual shows. There's no one size fits all quick queue. You have to buy for the individual events and reserve seating areas that you want to retain. It's a little bit loud up front by the engine, so how about some Christmas music montage? <laughs> Wishing Mouse. I expected you to do something dramatic. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Burnt out. I'm done. Hi. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to Wishing Mouse right now. Get on it. She does great live streams, great content. You said you released a vlog like just today, right? Yep. All the time, new content from Wishing Mouse. It's a good time. shows are always amazing, always a little bit tricky to film because there's just so many people in there. But the external show, O Tenenbaum, with the lights and everything going on outside Best House, that was super easy to move around, especially now that we're near the end of the night and almost everyone has gone home. I felt like it was basically for an audience of three, just us watching the show and loving every minute of it. Every show has been fantastic. And with the 20 minutes we have left tonight, I think it's about time that we hopped on our favorite ride, one last time before heading home. Remember, don't look back as you brave the black forest. Ah, look back! Alright guys, that's
that's gonna do it for us here from Bush Gardens Williamsburg's Christmas Town 2021. I had a fabulous time. It's a wonderful, wonderful time. It's a wonderful life. We're so thankful that we have this park semi-local. It's not exactly close, but it's within driving distance. Mm -hmm. And we will definitely, definitely be back again next year for more Bush Gardens fun. Anything to add? Have a happy holiday season. And with that, I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every day is a new adventure. And we will see you next time. Bye. Merry Christmas.